and you need to abstain from some things that are, are like that. But that's what happens. Amen. Uh, but that's why they plow them fields. Yeah, they throw a little dirt up there on the peas or the corn there. But then when they cultivate that, they're loosening that ground up because weeds cannot stand air. Right. You loosen it up, and it'll kill them. But he's a good God and he's a mighty God. And I'm going to tell you something. I don't know about y'all or how you feel about it. They may think we're a little weird. What Sister Jennifer was talking about. I know we get excited in here and we get loud and I get it. And I'm going to tell you something. Ain't nothing I can tell you. I don't even know if I can explain it correctly. But I'm telling you when evil comes against you what rises up in you it makes you stand because of the of the fights of of, of, the, of the of the things that we have to the task here on earth I'm telling you it rises up not flesh don't rise up but some people think amen that our flesh rises up amen but I'm telling you but when the spirit of God when it says that what mother quoted in Galatians uh that the flesh wars against the spirit and the spirit wars against the flesh. I'm telling you, if you've got the spirit of God inside of you and something evil rises up, amen, I'm telling you, it's just something different. Amen, it brings up, not flesh in you, but it brings up the spirit of God in you, knowing, amen, that it cannot reign, knowing that it's supposed to be defeated, knowing that it's not of God. I'm telling you something, I... I see an innocent child, amen, afflicted. <coughs> the first thing that comes out of my mouth, I know this is not you. Yeah. God, this cannot be you, not who I serve. Then my spirit man, amen, my, my inner man begins to rise up, amen, yes. because I know I serve a God that's able. I just know I serve a God that's able. But if you will, just turn to Matthew 16, please, and I'll, I'll love it. I won't hold you long. I'll be more than two or three hours to pray, but we'll be all right. He's good to us. Amen. Matthew 16, when you get there, holler at me and I'll get started. And no, uh, no, uh, he's just good. <coughs> We know in the setting of 16, this is where the Lord asked, you know, Peter, who did they say that he is? And Peter reveals who he is. But I, I want to read verse 19. He, he says in 18, he tells Peter, he said, upon this rock, I'm going to build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. But verse 19 is what I want to look at real quick with you. And he said, I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Uh -huh. I want to just stop right there. That's plenty for today. And I just want us to understand that today, what the keys are. Amen. Lord God, as we come before you, Lord, I just thank yes. you so much. Yes. And I praise you, Lord God. And yes. there's nothing Lord, like you, Lord God. And Lord, just God, what went on, spirit. Lord, I don't need my God, I just pray, God, I feel like I need to preach, but Lord God, I pray that you've done so mighty today for us. My Lord, in the name of Jesus, it's been great, it's been awesome, Lord, the way you moved at the beginning, Lord God, and I would ask God for a few moments, Lord, with your people, Lord God, the, the, the adult lesson was awesome, Lord God, always being fed, Lord Jesus, of you. But Lord, I pray, God, for just a few moments, God, that you allow your anointing, God, to be upon me, God, upon your word. And Lord, I would ask you, Lord Jesus, God, let it come forth and let it be of you and not of man today, God, I pray you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want to, I want to, I want to bring something to your attention real quick and I'll I, I won't be long, but I know it's near about like Jennifer and uh, Sister Jennifer and Sister Crystal was with me yesterday and, and this morning on, on this. I mean, and, but I, I, I want to I share this with you and I want you to understand, I mean, because there's something in Revelation that I, I want to I wanna 
bring to your attention today, but these keys, the importance of it. Um, and sometimes, you know, we as folks, you know, we make this comment that um, in this carnal life, we say we need to we need to live a little bit. You know, we all the time can't just work. Amen. We need to we need to live a little bit. You know, we make that comment sometimes. You know, if we work all the time, what's the what's the purpose of making money? What is the purpose of having things if we can't enjoy them? So I want to I want to bring to your attention something, and we fall fail, and, and, and Sister Jennifer, you're right about that. Amen. The way we do, we we do get in the spirit, and some people don't understand it. Some people, I'll be honest with you, they kind of live a, a bland Christian life because they don't know what it is. Amen. To get in the presence of the Lord, and and I I like Peter. There's nothing wrong with Peter, and I I love his preaching. I love what he done. I love what Paul done. Amen. But sometimes we get, amen, to the point of, of if I can say this correctly, amen, we, we, we so appointed, amen, our mindset ain't merry on, on just, on just salvation, how important it is. And I'm not, please, I'm not an atheist and I'm not saying, my God, Brother King said salvation ain't important. Amen. But we so work so hard. Amen. On salvation. Amen. Making sure that we hold that one key. Amen. That we forget to enjoy. Amen. The Lord. We forget so much. Amen. Of what the Lord is. Amen. He's just not a God of judgment. Amen. He made us in His own image. And sometimes we have forgot that, Brother Bo. Amen. And I tell you, you can go read this in the Revelations of I believe it's three and seven. It talks about a key that David had. Amen. The key of David. And I I, I know that I'm gonna probably say some things that Sister uh, Crystal had said already, amen, about his worship, amen, about the things, amen, but there is something that Jesus said about knocking, amen, and he would answer the door, amen, when you get in Revelation chapter 3, amen, it talks about a door being opened that no man can shut, amen, and we forget that sometimes, amen, we so want a key of salvation, we want a key, brother Bo, amen, to beat up the enemy, we want to make sure that the that we have the Holy Ghost and fire in us. Amen, Sister Haney, this power. We want to make sure that we speak in tongues. We want to make sure that we got grabbed one or two of these gifts. Amen, that we can have a bunch of keys. Amen, but we forget about the relationship. We forget about what David had. Amen. We forget how to open the door. Amen. And the door would open, amen, to your master's house. Amen. Just really just worship and praise. We forget that. We forget not to understand when we begin to exalt him, when we begin to praise him, when we begin to tell people of him, when we begin to quote this word that he written, amen, he puts his foot in the door that it can't be shut. It ain't that amen that a man can shut it. Amen. God's foot is in it. Amen. That it cannot be shut. Amen. And if God removes Amen. His foot out of it. Amen. I believe in church. Amen. I believe that he's got the church. Amen. That the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I'm not going against this in 16. Please understand. But I'm telling you you're missing a lot. Amen. And hearing the Lord speak to you. You're missing a lot. Amen. Feeling the presence of the Lord. Amen. You're missing a lot. Being in the same room with him. Amen. And just letting him just be there. And you know his presence is there. You know he's there, church. You're missing so much of what the Lord is wanting you to have today, church. Amen. Amen. Oh. He wants you to know him. Yes, he does. And he wants you to commune with him. And we forget that. We forget, Brother Bo, if we don't toe the line, we're going to be cast aside. Brother Rashad, I'm not telling you not to pray every day. I believe in it. I'm not telling you not to read the Word every day. I believe in it. I believe in those things. I believe it. It's what 
feeds you. I believe these. I believe in it. But I, what I'm trying to tell you is that ain't what's going to get you favor with the Lord. We bring these petitions before the Lord. Heal this one. Talk to that one. Deliver this one. Provide for that one. That is not what's going to get you favor with the Lord. What's going to get you favor with the Lord is you wanting to be with the Lord. And we forget that, sister. We forget that so much. Amen. We forget the point. Amen. That that is the whole purpose of it. Amen. You know, he's got benefits. He's got these things. But the Bible talks, amen, about David. Amen. And it talks, amen, these kings. And it talks, church, if you just had for a moment in your mind, amen, to what we could have. Amen. If we would just, amen, want to see him, want to be in his presence, amen, want to be with him, amen. We forget that sometimes. And I know that she taught an excellent lesson today. But I, I, if there's anything that I can tell you today. Amen. It ought to be about worship and praise. Amen. And I'm not talking about sometimes. I've said in the past. That I, when they, I had all my youngins in the house. They would all come in and they'd gather up in the bedroom. And I'd be on the couch and they would look at me. And they would be grinning and say, what you going to do today? And I can already tell us up to something. Need, need want to be provided for or they allowed to go somewhere. But I'm telling you something, amen, and I could look in their eyes and they'd look in my eyes. And I knew that they was up to something, amen, and it joined my heart to make it for me to think they was out foxing me. But what I'm trying to tell you today, the Lord, amen, wants you to come in and sit with Him. Amen. And we forget that. We forget sometimes, amen, just to sit on the back porch. Amen. And look up into the heavens. Amen. And begin to reminisce of him. Ask him where he's at. Where what you doing? Amen. Amen. Can you come here? Let's talk a while. Amen. And I tell some, I, I was telling that boy that, uh, that, 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 bought, that bought my business. Amen. We were driving uh, 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 the Vernon the other day and we were talking. And I said, sometimes people forget. Amen. Just to have a conversation with him. Instead of we think every time we see we we got to pray. That's the only way that we communicate. And that's just not true, church. Right. The Bible said that David, amen, when he watched his daddy's sheep, amen. Yes, he sung, but he had a conversation, amen, with the Lord. Right. And we forget that. We forget of the relationship. Man, God done so much here today. Amen. My Lord. He's done mighty today, church. Amen, brother. Come on. And I'm telling you, there's some stuff that got busted today. They've got some fields, got the clods out of them today. Yes. I, I'm just being as honest with you as I can. Come on. I'm telling you, church. I, I, I'm just telling you what I know in the spirit. Amen. Amen. They y'all gonna see, amen, amen, the testimonies Come after on. today. Amen. And I know that Sister Karen couldn't make it and some couldn't make it today. And, and I hate it. Amen. And I hate it sometimes. You can see people's mind. Amen. That their mind's somewhere else when it needed to be in here today. And it's all right. Amen. But I'm telling y'all today, church. Hey, Lord, the Lord's going to move this year like he's never moved yeah. before. Amen. Because I'm going to tell you this. You know, and I'm not calling the Lord a hog. But, you know, you poke a hog. Long enough and that joker's going to squeal. You know, if you kick a dog long enough, he'll bite you. Amen. And I'm telling you something. We have pulled, amen, on the hem of God's garment. Amen. I want you to do something. Amen. I want to see revival. I want to see the glory of you. Amen. I want to really see the magnitude that you really are. Amen. On this earth. I hated, amen, a hundred years ago. Amen. People could see God move and see miraculous things done. Amen. I'm telling you this church you didn't have to beg people to get up under a tent in July to hear the word of God because the word of God was activated amen they was proof that they was a God amen and you wouldn't have to convince them 
them about their soul and stuff, church. But I'm telling you something, this year you're going to see it. Amen. I'm telling you, you, you sit back and you say, well, I heard that last year. I've heard it for the last 40 years. But I'm telling you, he's fixing to make a quick work because that's what it says in Revelation that he's fixing to do a quick work. Amen. I'm telling you, amen, the things, a Haley that is lining up, amen, that you can't even realize, amen, to how things is fixing to take place. And there's going to be an outpouring, there's going to be a revival, and it's going to be done, and we're going to be out of here. Because of the desire that we have, Sister Shelley. God is real. Get you a key of David and open that door. And go in and sit and sup with him. He said he wouldn't deny you. He said he wouldn't abandon you. He said he wouldn't leave you. Amen. Come on. Come on. So quit worrying. Did I pray them nine minutes a day and read them two chapters? That if I have something that comes up, I can talk to him and I, I got a green light. You're going to have more favor with him talking to him. Being with him, having the desire to be. David desired to be with him. That's what we fail to understand. David wasn't out there in a pasture saying, I sure wish you'd make me king. Come on. Oh. I sure wish you'd uh, give me whatever I wanted. I think what he was doing, his job was to pin to his daddy's sheep. And I think about that sometimes. I mean, you shouldn't want to commune with the Lord to have favor with the Lord. You want to desire. One day you're going to have to understand that's where you're going to be, either there or hell. God is good, church. He's awesome. He moved in this place today. Amen. And I, I need you to reverence that today. Yes. Amen. And I'm telling you something. It is overwhelming what has been felt, what I felt in here. Amen. That's right. 